today we're back on the let's play count this is like the third attempt i'm trying to record this video but today i'm going to give some strategic tips on giants and wizard strategy of times five i already did something with the game play last time 12 hours ago in the let's play video but yeah this time we do giants and wizards okay this guy turn off right here. Why don't we want to face against him? He has all of his de defense zone closed. This is a town of four. Town of four. Well, we need town of fives. Here you have this guy with level five wars. the mortal the wizard tower. Due to the fact that the wizards are your damage dealers in this game. And then the wizards destroy that uh, this that wizard tower yes. That is good. So basically then you wait until basically then you just wait until the wizards clean up the base after basically after all defenses are wiped out the giants target any building so both giants and wizards will clean up imagine if gem box with speed of this you can basically just get three gems and there's a gem storage so we're just gonna get this also a fun fact is that a plus five wizard meaning a level six wizard can one shot a level one elixir collector Okay, so we're going to do another version of Giants and Wizard where you where you use funneling. So this base is more anti funneling. The point to judo is lost. Funneling is where basically you try, you shoot basically any buildings that are out of range of defenses. And that's in the quick yeah. But this is a town of six, this is way unfair. Can okay, that guy was rushed. This town isn't going to be rushed though. This one wizard over here cleaning up. Oh no, the gold storage is gonna tank that archer tower. I said this wizard over here is kind of the MVP. He's cleaning up. Except he's going to die to archer tower. No! Okay, 
Okay, 76%, that's not bad. So yeah, anyway, this is my strategy video for giants and wizards. If I hope you like this video, and I'll see you in the next Let's Play video 12 hours later. Goodbye.